about uh, my favorite car, man, uh, the PT Cruiser. We're gonna talk about uh, recalls. We're gonna talk about a recall. See, here's the problem, man. A lot of y'all got these cars out there and the Chrysler done lost contact with the original owner. Hell, in some cases, this car is like 10, 15 years old, so Chrysler has no contact on the original owner. That's why every now and then you should take your car to a dealership just because. If nothing else, they're going to run your VIN anyway. And they can tell you if you got anything uh, you need to be concerned with, like a recall. A recall is free to you, man, so... You know, why not get it done? It's free. I mean, it's, it's you know, it's free. So every now and then, go visit a dealership, man. If nothing else, let them run your VIN to see if anything. Uh, normally, the normal process is you get a, a, a mail, uh, you get some mail telling you you got a recall. But like I say, uh, most of these cars are owned by different owners by now. So I'm going to keep you up to date because like I told you, we're going to keep this car running forever. Today, I want to talk about... Uh, Recall D18. That's concerned. That's gonna be on the 2001 through 2004 PT Cruiser. No turbo. Sorry, turbo owners. No turbo. The same for y'all. And uh, the 2005 PT Cruiser. Uh, you know, with the convertible top. That's what this recall applies to. Now, on about 435,000 of these cars, the power steering line on the uh, on the bottom. Can rub on the differential cover and cause a leak. You don't want a leak because you can start a fire, you can start anything with a power steering uh, fluid leaking. The problem Chrysler did at this time was they routed that line from the rack and pinion to your power steering pump. They routed it, routed it right on the transmission bell housing. And some of the early models, it rubs on the differential cover and uh. You know, constant rubbing, you're going to eventually cause a leak. So, what we are to do as a Chrysler dealership, I'm an in Chrysler employee, so I will be required to reroute that line if you haven't already ruined it. Now, if you ruin it, you're going to get a new line. If you already cut through it and you're leaking, Chrysler is required to get your brand new power steering pressure line because that's our bad. You know, we messed up. We routed that wrong. So that's like I say, that's what a recall is. We're required to get you a brand new power steering pressure line. Now you can't get a pressure line just because you need a pressure line. Your power steering whining anyway. No, that ain't the reason you get a line. You get a line because it was routed wrong from the factory and uh, Chrysler's required to repair the routing or reroute it or in the other case, if you're already leaking, we're required to give you another one. So if you're leaking, be prepared to leave your car for about a couple of hours because we got to take that old power steering line off and replace it with a new line and go back in with some new fluid. So that's to my 2001 through 2004 PT Cruiser owner and the 2005 owners with the convertible top. That's recall D18, man. Get Take that car in the dealership. Like I said, if you have never been, take it into the dealership, man. Let them run your VIN. Hell, this is my YouTube channel. Leave your VIN at the bottom. I'll run your VIN and tell you if you got a recall on it. You know. Now, that's some more recalls I'm going to go through later on other videos. But for now, or for this particular video, I wanted to concentrate on D18. Power steering pressure hold. The only problem we had was we may have rerouted it or we may have routed it wrong in the event you can it could cause a leak in the power steering system. Alright man, that's all I got. Hey, comment below man. Uh, leave me your VIN. Let me check your stuff out man because if you got any free recalls, like I say, this car came out in 01 through 10. So there's some more recalls out there. I need y'all to know this stuff so you can take it to the deal and get it done. It's free of charge, baby. You ain't gotta pay nothing. You ain't gotta pay nothing. I mean, if your car whining bzz, bzz, every time you turn it, chances are your power steering hose is restricted by now and is uh you know causing the noise. But that ain't why we're gonna give you a line. We're gonna give you a line because it's leaking. All right, I gotta go. That's all I got on D18 recall. D18. Take your car and get it inspected because that's what we do first. We're gonna inspect it. If you're not leaking, we're simply going to reroute it out of the way so you won't leak. And you won't cause a fire and you won't cause any leaks in your driveway. All right, I got to go. Peace out.